Hey everyone, Zerj here with the x Fan Show. I'm here to give a quick taste of Battle Briefs, a very much a kind of battle game where everyone's running around in their uh, underpants. Uh, it is very much a local co-op kind of game, which I can't really show off because I don't have any friends to play with, but I can 100% see people enjoying this a lot, especially the kids, because you're essentially running around in your underwear uh, beating each other up, which, I mean, come on, that's funny, right? Uh, mostly because you also get these like fun little power-ups and stuff like that. You have all these little like different matches like classic battle where you just run around beat each other up with uh power-ups or you butt stomp them uh you have just the normal like hold on to something you get points as you hold on to it longer a collection and all that kind of fun stuff like all the normal kind of battle modes which this does have is these little challenge things if you do want to play by yourself or with one other person which these are gonna what i'm gonna kind of show off i'm gonna be chad and i can kind of just show off the basic uh gameplay so when you start you'll have the basics here uh, under underpants collector is essentially like you're running through these courses to collect underpants in a set amount of time and they're all tidy whities no boxer briefs here luckily also no one's uh going commando so this is my character i can run i can double jump and then i can uh, super jump by pushing y also if i hit right trigger i can ground pound there we go in this stage, actually, uh, the things uh, also get destroyed. So what I want to do is oop, get through here. Yeah. And it controls well, which is surprising, actually. I think it is pretty well controlled. Like, I don't know what you should do, though, if your underwear is uh, gold or brown. You should probably buy a new underwear. Unless it came that way, then you should be okay. Unless it's secondhand, but so don't don't accept secondhand underwear if it's gold or brown. Brown. Yep. And these these modes are a pretty decent time waster. Yep, we go. I didn't quite make that. And I'll show like the different power ups and stuff later. And the uh, single player modes are pretty decently fun. It's not like, oh, hey, it's just like mindless AI bots or stuff like that. They're actual like like survival modes and stuff like that. It's not like just fake battle stuff. So we'll go on back to the menu. For anyone curious, the achievements are actually all tied to these little um, challenge modes and stuff like that. So this one is you're uh, going through levels and shooting targets which is a pretty good way to work on your aiming. This game also does something really cool in the uh, the the uh, options menu that I want to show. So I can, uh, there are different types of power-ups. They all essentially have a X attack and then they kind of still have your little butt stomp. Yep, triangle jump, there we go. We go. But I could absolutely see some like kids and like loving this to no end. Because again, like underpants are funny at, like when you're a kid, right? They're still kind of funny now. But it, if you saw some people running around fighting and butt stomping each other in underpants, you first you'd be like, that's kind of weird. Maybe I should call the police. But second, you'd probably be like, this is that's kind of funny. So let's see. Let's go ahead and do this uh, endless butt up butt him up i'm sorry let's go to the let's go to the crystal caverns and the uh all the power-ups come in presence so you don't know what you're actually gonna get all right so i got some underpants for protection and now my goal is to wipe these guys out with the health that i have I only have two hits, which you can see in the upper left. Oh, and I've died. Let's uh, let's do that and not embarrass myself. The projectile weapons, uh, the projectile uh, presence, are uh, in my view better. Most of, they're either projectiles or they're dash attacks. Like this one's a like this one's a long range projectile, so I should be pretty good. I almost died there; would have been hilarious. If you can see these guys here, they actually have spikes on their back, so I couldn't I couldn't actually butt stop them. There are some actual enemies that have, uh, you have to actually knock them off a wall and then butt stop them. 
which I think is pretty cool that like hey there's actual like you have to do different stuff to actually combat the uh, enemies switch here and see what we got oh oh boy but yeah that's that's all about the single player that's about all they have for like the single player stuff and then oh and then this one is uh, eliminate enemies uh, in the level and all that kind of weird stuff So now I just survive. So these guys, as you can see, are actually different and don't actually have spikes. So I can go bam. Oh. And of course you can see there is bronze, silver, and gold tiers. They don't really, uh, it's not really hard yet, so it's probably it'll probably ramp, uh, ramp up as I go. So it's definitely not one of those games of, hey, I'm gonna do one level, and then have it be like crazy hard and frustrating. So we're almost done here. I like that these puff balls actually look like little feather dusters. Oh, we're almost to gold. We got this. And we're done. And of course, the other mode is like just survival and stuff like that. I discovered a tooth. But let me go ahead and show you that option menu, which I think is really cool. Sometimes like games like this, you have issues tailing like the, uh, the f uh, foreground and background apart. And they actually have an option for that, as well as like slowing down the game and stuff like that for like kids and stuff like that. So I, I, think, I think this really was kind of made for kids. So you go to gameplay, it's like, like play like better player outlines camera shake on and off player numbers reduce enemy difficulty reduce game speed high contrast which i think is really nice so it's like i believe i believe that just makes everything in the background dark there's also like rewards and stuff so let's like you go back into a challenge and see like see how much easier it is to see like hey what is the actual foreground and i really appreciate that because i've played platformers and games like this where Hey, I think this is part of the foreground. Oh, nope, mm, nope. So let's see. What have I not shown off? I've pretty much shown everything off. And they the tutorial things are pretty good. Like I said before, it is only local co-op. No, I wanna, oh, hold on. Let's see. Hold on, I want to change my character. Chad, there we go. Chad is awesome. Like this game may not be particularly for me, but I have no doubt that kids kids would enjoy this or this would be a lot more fun with like buddies playing at night or something like that. Cause I'm sure there are kids out there who just giggle with if you just say underpants. And I, I think this mode's like survive for five minutes for 10 minutes or, and get achievements and stuff like that. Like it, it feels like a game that would be like a bit of an investment to get the achievements in. Oh, there I see. He's got the little back spines. Piggy. All right. So that's a dash attack. Ooh, that did not end well for me. But anyways, that's a uh, brief battles. Uh, if you're just gonna be by yourself, uh, I would not be able to suggest this. But if you like have kids, have someone you're gonna play it with, yeah, they, this this could probably be a ton of fun to play with them. Very simple, either uh, ground pounds with the uh, right trigger or dashes with the uh, dashes or range attack with the X. You got one, two, three, four, four modes to uh, to go play through, as well as the challenges, and then. The uh, settings is very nice, very, very uh, nice to, for them to include like the high contrast mode and reduce the game speed and enemy difficulty. Very much having like younger gamers in mind. But I am Zero JD. This is the XLA Fans Channel. Brief battles. If you got some friends or got some kids, I could recommend this. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Check out all our videos. Like, comment, subscribe. If you comment, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, subscribing, sharing the video helps us so much. And hit us up on Twitter. Thank you and have a nice day.